All right, let's work on the task two. Task two it says create a new container by using the SDK. So in the program class, enter the following code to create a new private static method get container async that is asynchronous and has two parameter types blob service client and string. Okay, so I'll copy this piece of code. I'll go back to the VS code. Okay, so let me just minimize this one first. And I'm going to add a new function. I'll add here new one. Okay. Now let's see what is next. Now in the get container async method, enter the following code to get a new instance of the blob container client. Okay. So I'll just copy this particular piece of code and I'll paste it here. So basically we are creating an instance of the container. Now in the get container async method, enter the following code to invoke the create if not exist async method of the blob container client class. Okay, so this particular class will go and create a new container if it is not there. So here is the method. Now next is in the get container async method, enter the following code to render the name of the container that was potentially created. So it will just print out the new container name. So I just pasted the code here. Okay. Now next task is in get container async method, enter the following code to return the instance of blob container client. So basically, if you see here, this is our new method get container async and we need to pass a container name. So this particular piece of code will create a new container and then it will return the container instance. Okay. So I'll take this one. I'll go back to the VS code and I will put the return statement here. Okay. Now what is next? It says in the main method. Okay. Enter the following code at the end of the method to create a variable name new container name with the value of vector graphics. So we are expecting to have a new container. Okay. So let's just do this one. So I'm going to main method. Here is my main method and I'll put this one here. This new piece of code here, a new property called new container name vector dash graphics. Now in the main method, enter the following code at the end of the method to invoke the new function. Okay. So now we are just going to call the new function, the one which is created. It should look something like this. We'll save the program and then we'll execute the program. Observe the output from the current running console application. The updated output includes metadata about the existing container and blobs. Okay. Now let's go back. So now we are going to call the new method from the main method. And now let's go and run. So first I will just run the .NET build command just to make sure that there are no errors. Okay. And now I'm going to run this piece of code .NET run. Okay. So here you can see the information about your account storage account name account kind basically account type and here is container names and this is what we did that in this particular container there is one blob and here you have your new container so our program is working perfectly fine so here we are done with the task 2 now task 3 what it says we need to upload a new blob by using the portal okay so we need to go to the resource group storage media storage account inside control container so this is our new container so we are going to upload an image into the new container the one we just created and the image should be graph.svg okay so let's go to the portal resource group oh sorry yeah resource group only and then storage media from here storage account now we'll go to the containers first here it is 
we'll go and look for the new one which is here vector graphics and here we need to upload a new image okay so it says svg actually i'm looking for one second let me just details so i need to upload this one graph.svg upload over right click on upload it's completed so basically now we have a new image graph.svg in our new container vector dash graphics okay so we have uploaded it's done now we need to access blob uri by using the sdk so now we have to navigate back to the vs code so in the class in the program class enter the following code to create a new private static method named get blob async and it has got two parameters so now we are going to add a new function Okay, so let me minimize the terminal first and then I'm going to add a new function in the end. Okay. So our new function is get blob async. Now in the get blob async method, enter the following piece of code to get new instance of the blob client. Okay. So I'll simply go and paste the code here. So now next is in the blob get blob async method we need to write this particular piece of code and it will print the blob which is there in the container and then we'll return the container instance okay so here i'll write this one and then we need to return the blob okay save let's go back to the browser so step 5 is just to verify that your new method should look something like this we are okay with this now in the main method we are going to create a new property called string upload sorry yeah string property called upload blob name okay and then in the main method enter the following code to invoke the new method okay let's first go and create a new property okay so i'll just put this new property in the end of main method here okay upload blob name is graph.svg now in the main method we need to paste this particular piece of code let's go to the vs code so i'm just going to put the piece of code the line which i copied here blob client it will take two parameters one is container container client and second is this property the one which is created now next is in the main method enter the following code at the end of the method to render the uri property of the blob client variable okay so i'll copy this one Control c step 9 says your main method should look something like this and you just need to run your program okay what are we expecting here is it should print this particular url okay so i'll paste the line here it will print the blob client uri control save let me just open the terminal i'll just first like it's always good to run the dot net build command dot net build just to make sure that everything is good in your program okay so things are good there is no error so now i will run the program dot net run so here is as usual account information container name there is a blob in this container here is our new container and this is what it is we found new blob and here is our blob uri this is what our new function is doing okay so our program is working perfectly fine so here we are done with the task 4 task 5 what it says test the uri by using a browser on the task bar open as new in the new browser window go to the url that you copied from the blob earlier you should notice the scalable svg file in your browser okay so we just need to make sure that the url whatever we have got from our program it should be a valid one so we need to copy this url from here i'll just okay and i will go to the browser now i'll paste the url here in new tab i should see an image right 
so this is what is expected and so we are good here so here we are done with exercise 4 and in the next video we'll talk about exercise 5 thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video